Oh, look at me. I'm getting ready to go back to school. <laughs> Guess what I have inside my bag? Blocks. <laughs> Quilts. <laughs> Oh, but it's going to be so much fun. Well, I'm really glad you're here today because we're going to show you the quilt from last month. Teresa got it done. Wow. Are you excited? Yeah. All right. Let me put my book bag down. It's just a little heavy so I can show. Oh, perfect spot. Okay. So this one. Get ready. You'll know it when you see it. One, two, three. Oh. Wow! Didn't that turn out nice? So how many of you made the Liberty Star? Let me see. Okay, now I have Noah bought, a lot of you bought that swag. How many of you used the swag yet? Are you going to now? Yeah, it doesn't look good. Okay, show them over here so Sandra can see. And Doris. Is that beautiful? I love the little uh, polka dot binding with the little in the little swag. It's just turned out so pretty. But anyhow, we're going, oh, we got to make more quilts with swags. Use all of those up. Cool. Show the back. It's really cute. Uh, Ju Judy Jackson. Do you know what? I, I love all of my uh, quilters, and I shouldn't just say just Judy. Judy and Mary Jo not only quilt it, but they put on the binding and stitch it down. <laughs> Is that good? Who could go wrong? I know that's really fun. And I have a second quilt to show you. Oh, show the back first. This is kind of fun. Show the back. So this is Tony. He is one of our desert boys. In the book, I, we messed up on his name, and it says Dessert Boy. <laughs> but it's Tony, and Tony brings us all kinds of desserts every month. He's in our AccuQuilt class. So on the back, is this cool? Uh -huh. Brian suggested it, but wait till you see the front. Turn it around. I love it. Don't you go, oh, make lots of noise and tip over and show everybody over here. Wow, wow. No. Isn't it pretty? He did the six inch box from our favorite new book called 40 Fabulous Years. Absolutely, 40 Fabulous Years. And we have a new block for you today. It's called Cups and Saucers. And what page is it on? 94? 94. Get to page 94. And whoa! Look at that. OK, Patty, it's your job now. And here we have a big surprise. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Oh, are we cute? Cute. Oh, they're so cute. Did you bring your music? Oh, you forgot. That's okay. You can remember without music, right? Okay, bring on a little bit down your hand. Okay, and a one, and a two, and a three. Go! Little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Just tip me over and pour me out. Okay, I have a little, yay! And I have my own version, okay? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle. Here is my other handle. Oops! I'm a sugar bowl. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So we, they, all of the children were in the cups and saucers, and so fortunately they're out of school right now. Aren't we lucky? Yeah. And so they came to share their quilts with you. Are you ready? You ready? Okay, so let's just pull these. 
Yeah, do you want to start, Zoe? Okay, and, yeah. Okay, sweetie, get the mic from Eric. Okay, and so this one, this one? Okay, yeah. Maybe you, maybe you could hold it. Let's see. Okay, Zoe, you ready? Okay, hold it up high and tell everybody. And show it. Oh. Aww. Isn't that cute? That was cute. She was so cute. She came to Julian with me, and we worked on this little project, and she was so excited when she ran home and showed her mother. She said, Mommy, these are real buttons. <laughs> yeah. So, obviously, okay, so these two, I'll divide them apart. This is, these are Orion's children. This is, what's your name? Zoe. And what's your name? Kylie. And these are Orion's too. And Kylie, do you have your picture? Oh, yeah. So, I'll hold this one and you show this one because this, hold it up high. That's what she created. Is that fun? <laughs> Don't steal the show. <laughs> Isn't that cute? That's very, very cute. Okay. And Kylie obviously loves cats. 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 So there. And you love dogs. Cats and dogs. That's better. No. Dogs are coyotes. Oh, now we're going to have a fight. Okay. So. <laughs> We have a book. Okay, where's our book, David? Oh, bring and and the little plastic bag that I gave you to. It's right there. Okay, okay. So, we have a book that Ellie and I did. It's called Crayon Box Quilts. Oh. Crayon Box Quilts. And for a couple of days, not long, Kylie worked out of that book, and you want to show the, the back first? Because that's very you, isn't it? Let's open it up, and we'll show the back. Oh, that's where it started. Is that cute? And now turn around to the front, and everybody can see the crayon box quilt. Hold it up real high. You like that? Is that cool? <laughs> You know what? I always said the youngest is the most energetic. Because <laughs> who's the youngest, huh? How old are you? Six. And how old are you? Seven. Seven. But they're really kind of two years Six, apart. Seven, Birthdays eight, are close. Do you like it? Yeah. Do you like it, sweetie? That's very, very cool. Oh, hold it up again because they're going to take a picture. Ah, hold it in the air. Oh. I don't know. Her, actually, their daddy picked it. <laughs> Didn't daddy pick it? But he picked from the fabrics. I don't know. The, the cat, is it Tallulah Pink? I'm not sure. It's a panel. Yes, it's a panel. It's a panel. Okay, we're doing good. Okay, so can I, you, you girls, just kind of step over just a little, and you can hold on to your quilts. But now these three are Grant's children. This is Becca, the youngest. And how old are you, Becca? Six. Six. Okay, so we've been waiting and waiting to get this quilt done. And she did all of the work on the top and added the borders. She had, and you guys can see the inside, how good it is. She had a charm pack. And I think that she used the whole charm pack. But we couldn't just get that backing and batting on. So yesterday, Teresa did it for you. Wasn't that nice? Yeah, you thank Teresa. But now we're going to do a big show because have you ever seen a birthing on stage? <laughs> we're going to birth. Okay, put down your book. Okay, now each of you get to have a corner. You get a corner. Jonas, get that corner. Okay, and you you two can have this corner. Okay, and you get the opening. That's the most important part. Okay, now everybody watch. Okay, maybe kind of step a little so they can see too. 
Okay, each of you roll tightly, roll tightly like this. Roll yeah, tight. Oh, let me hold this for you, sweetie. There you go. Okay, that's good. Roll, roll, roll. Okay, not you. You just keep that open. You <laughs> keep it open. Come on, everybody, roll fast now. Roll to the middle, roll to the middle. That's good. Now go boop, 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 boop. Take, take real big rolls. Yeah, like that. Do it like Ellie. Okay, pull it like, oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Now comes the big event. Are you ready? Okay, can you, can you take it? It's kind of tight. Okay, you guys, everybody has to push. I, sh I forgot to tell Teresa to leave a big hole. <laughs> okay, this is going to be tight. <laughs> okay, we have to get it. Okay, now, sweetie, it just turn it out right side out. Now unroll it. Pop it through, Jonas. Yeah, come on, pop that through. Yeah. Okay, now unroll it. Get your corner and unroll it. My belly inside. Oh, put your hands inside. That's okay. What do you think, Becca? Does it look good? You remember when you sat beside me and you made all, put all these pieces together? And Zoe, this is actually your line of fabric. Did you know that? That's very, very pretty. Okay, keep on going. Keep on going. It's right here. Okay, now pull out the corners. Pull out the corners. Here, put your fingers in. Pull out the corners. Whoa. Okay, now you all have to hold on to the edges really tight. Hold. Okay, now just kind of pull. Pull in your direction. There, pull in your direction. Whoa. Okay, and now Becca gets the honor of holding it up high. Drop your hands, and now you hold it up. Step back. Is that good? That's very good, Becca. All you have to do now, would, we might do some stitch in the ditch with the walking foot around the border, but we can tie it in the middle. Do you like it? When she was doing it, you know how you measure. You don't get a tape measure or a yardstick. You lay yourself down on the quilt and you look over your shoulders. And she decided when it was big enough. <laughs> good. You can let it down, sweetie. That's very, very good. Very, very good. Okay. So we are up to um, Jonas. Come here, Jonas. Okay. Jonas, how old are you? I am eight. And he's my favorite grandson because he's the only <laughs> grandson. <laughs> his picture of his quilt, turn, turn a couple pages and you will see Jonas. And he did come and make a quilt. But there he is with his little, is that cute? Well, he came and made a quilt, but your quilt's gone, Jonas. What happened to your quilt? No. Shh, 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 shh. Yeah. What what happened to your quilt? Um, I think in my class we had this thing where I think it was on Christmas and there's these kids that needed like stuff and they didn't have much for Christmas. And so we could we um we were able to give stuff um to them and I gave them my blanket that I made. And yeah. And yeah, isn't that nice? That's a good lesson. Okay, Jonas, I have a surprise for you. It's, oh, no, this one, that's Ellie, sweetie. We're, we're going to give that, look, turn around. This is exactly like your quilt. We made kits. I found it, and you get to finish it. Yay. Is that good? Okay, so show everybody, this is what we started. And Jonas had all bugs, bugs and cute, and it's strips. And we sewed all the strips together. Guess where the directions are? Hold this up. Guess where the directions are? <laughs> and then we were demoing, and we cut all of the strips the other way. Is that cute? We cut all the strips the other way. And guess what's in the bag? Your, your borders. Cool, kid. Ah, oh, aren't you excited? 
you get to make another one all over again and maybe you'll get to keep this one. Okay, yeah. okay, you, you can put it right in there. Okay, and we come to Ellie. Now we get to give Ellie her quilt. Who's gonna give Ellie her quilt? Go ahead, you can give it to her. Go around, give it to Ellie. There we go. And if you look at that page, if you look at that page in the book, it says that when I broke my leg, uh, Brian didn't want me to stay alone, so he hired Jonas and Ellie to be my babysitter. <laughs> and so guess what we did while they were babysit while I was babysitting. Is that fun? Isn't that cute? That's very, very cute. And um, they cut them with the uh, AccuQuilt cutter. And Jonas, you can see he has a little pillow, but he told me that that we didn't sew them down, I guess. We just ironed them down. He said they all fell off. <laughs> he couldn't find them in his room. So now you're going to have your own quilt, huh? Cool. And we have just one last book, last quilt. And this is the one that I think Teresa made. Do you think you made this one, Teresa? We don't know. But I do know that Ellie made one and gave to her little <laughs> cousin. Uh, oh, yeah. Aurora would have been her cousin whenever uh, she was born. But this one was all flannel, and this is the one that I actually took to the, um, the um, nursing home when I, I was there for five weeks. Can you imagine that? And I took that quilt in took it with me, and it was such a comfort quilt. I felt like Linus <laughs> wrapping in the flannel. And every night when the orderly took me to the bathroom, he would say, nice quilt. It'll be gone in the morning. <laughs> but I still have it. Is that fun? Very, very fun. Oh, my gosh. Did we show all of the quilts? I think we did. Do we have anything else we want to do? You want to show the inside of Crayon Box Quilts? And, of course, you can get it right here. And so it shows all the strips, and it's really good for teaching your grandchildren or for you to learn. You guys all know, huh? Cool. And on the back, turn to the back pages, it's Ellie and I birthing her quilt. And there's pictures. And she, and she did a little label. So what do you think? Did we do good, guys? Huh? Yay! Okay, you get to take your quilts with you. So, thank you everybody. Here you go. Is it, you call that a coyote? Yeah. Zoe? Huh? Dog yeah, dogs are, dogs used to be coyotes. You're right. They say that in the commercials. That's right. Even they used to be alligators. They, <laughs> dogs were alligators at one time? I didn't know that story. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did we do good? Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, we goodbye. That was cool. I'm really glad they could come. Thank you, Patty. Thank you. So now we're going to get to our lesson, right? Was that a good lesson? Yeah. That was a good lesson. And all oh, back to school, and you can take that one away. And let me see if all my lesson is in here. Ooh, I think it probably is. Let us see. I'm just looking for two blocks that I want to show you. Are they in here, my two blocks? Are they? Okay, guess who made my back-to-school bag? This is really cool. And is it upside down? Oh, you do it this way. I knew that because to me it's backwards. Okay. And now, did I see the two blocks? No. Nope. Where's the two blocks that? The, the one you just made last oh, night. Cups and saucers. Now, why do they call this block cups and saucers? You have no idea. I couldn't figure it out either. But if you take all of the units that go into cups and saucers and put them together, different than what we did, this is what you get. This is a very old pattern. Cup. And I think I'm upside down. Yep, nope. This is cup, 
cup and saucer. Get it? Cup and saucer. Oh, you, you see it. You see it? Cups and saucers. It's really something, huh? It's very different. It's really flying geese, half square triangles, and a square in the center. Okay, Teresa made this nice and bright one. Oh, and you match it. You match your outfit. And come over here and we'll show together. So this is how we're going to put ours together this morning, like this, and turn so Sandra and Doris, Sherry can see. Cool. Is that something? I think it's really, really fun. Very, very fun. All right. It's flying geese time. Flying geese time. How many of you have made flying geese? Flying geese, and where did my honker go? Why can't I ever find anything? <laughs> All my assistants move my stuff around. Honk, honk. Yes, it was on the table. Honk. How many of you know how to make flying geese? How many of you have made our way of quilt in a day, flying geese? Okay, put your hands down. How many of you never made it? Now show me. Never made it. I can't believe Abby. Oh, no. Look at the room. There's flying geese all around the room. So look, just look over there. Look how many times Quilt in the Day has done flying geese. It goes right up here, and that is wild goose chase, right? Wild goose chase. That is really, that is new, but it looks old, doesn't it? Wild goose chase. And swing it around. And the next one is really good for kids. The flying geese, just flying geese, those are nice big flying geese. Teresa's children actually came to Julian and made those quilts, made the flying geese quilt in a weekend. It was very, very special. Okay, keep on going. The North Star quilt is made out of two different sizes of flying geese. And um, the star right in the center, it looks really, really pretty, huh? Good? Okay, keep on going because It's Elementary has the flying geese. It kind of looks like a little pinwheel block right up in there. And it's really good, easy directions. It's elementary. It's elementary. Okay, and I really like the next one. It's called, um, I think, Once Upon a Star. Those are huge, huge geese. And I made that, um, I called it, uh, Once Upon a Star, Orion said it would have sold better if I called it Three Hour Quilt. <laughs> three Hour Quilt. That's how fast it goes. Get it? Three Hour Quilt. So much fun. Okay, and we're above the stairs. Oh my gosh, geese in the garden. Do you know that I did that on Craftsy? You can watch that on Craftsy. Geese in the garden, it has uh, the rows of flowers going down through the middle and all it's beautiful on the outside. And then one to, there's one more to the right of that one. And do you remember what's that one called, Teresa? Fox and geese. Fox and geese. Fox and geese. Did you know that the fox used to be a dog? <laughs> no, <laughs> the other way around. Or maybe it was a coyote. <laughs> or what was the last one? An alligator. An alligator. <laughs> Who knows? It just has too much fun. Those are all beautiful. Oh, and we have a migration um, from Sue. That's really gorgeous. It's migration, migrating geese. Pretty. And that uses all sizes of geese. Very, very pretty, huh? So you have all those patterns? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, well, I think it's too much fun. And I love the one above the mantle. Um, that one has geese in the border. But it was just a lesson to teach all different techniques. And it's a little bird house, but the roof is a geese, and then the borders are geese, and stars are geese. So much fun. And my sister Patty, if you can just swing over behind Eleanor. I meant to move the treasure chest so you should, could see. But uh, there's a little bird house peeking right through there with a geese roof. Cute? Mm -hmm. 
Very, very cute. I love it. Somebody wanted it so bad they took my honker. Give it back. Is it a little plastic thing? Uh huh. It's, I, it went rolling on the floor, so I took it out to Lori <laughs> I did have my honker. <laughs> okay. So we have so many cute things. You know what? I have the kids here. I'm going to just show you this really quick because it's so fun. This was the kids at their tea party. They were all lined up. I think they really like to have tea, but I think they would much rather have all of that chocolate. Here, <laughs> Jonas is serving all the cute little girls. I think he beams, and he needs to know he's special among all those girls, huh? <laughs> And just so much fun, all dressed up in our best. And Ellie and I were getting ready for the little tea party. Too much fun. Okay, I'm going to set those aside and just show you this one real quick. Tea for a day. I did the um, Julian Women's Club show, and afterwards I was invited to the Julian, to the tea room in Julian. Give them a little plug. And we were having tea for a day. Isn't that fun? with some special friends. All right, so this is for the next block. Let me see if I turn all of this around. Look at this, I'm all ready. And right on the top is my technique. Woo, am I lucky. Wrong end. <laughs> <laughs> See why this is very important for my lesson? <laughs> when, for many years when I've been out and about teaching and I <laughs> blow my honker, you cannot imagine all of the hunters and all of the cool decoys of geese and hat geese and on and on, and we couldn't find any of them. Okay, let's get going. Turn to page. You guys are already on it. We're going to look at cups and saucers. Now you know why cups and saucers are so important to me. I think I need to move this so you guys can see what's going on. What do you think? Going to have to get my rotary cutter out of there. And there it tells you all the measurements for the 12-inch block and the 6-inch block. Oh, my gosh. The little six inch block, it's a cutie. 12, six. Isn't it cute? Very, very cute. Very, very cute. Okay, we're gonna put those right up there. So you can see they're made of just three units. The first one we're gonna start with is the half square triangle. I bet you guys all know how to do that one, right? That one, and then there's geese in yellow and red. They're pairs, and they are surrounding one center square. Very, very easy to do, and all of the units are listed right on page 95. Good? Okay, we're going to turn the page, and we're going to rush right through the um, four corners because I know you know how to do it, right? Okay, so you're just going to take your... Um, background and your, this is a medium, right? Background and, and first medium, put them right sides together. The size of it is five by 10, five by 10, right sides together. Draw a center line. If this is five by 10, where's the center line? Five, good. <laughs> and then you draw a diagonal line up and down and usually whenever I do this I just put my ruler on the corner and drive just draw it up there really fast and we can't find a big enough one that nothing will work you just draw lines up and down and then you get your sewing machine and you sew a quarter of an inch seam do 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 this will work Oh, I didn't see it behind there. Look at that. It's perfect. Ooh, perfect. So you can just go up there and down, and you've got it all marked. And then if I cut these apart, are you going to make me two more, Teresa? Oh, good. <laughs> so 
easy. You cut it in half and then just cut it the other way. And out of this rectangle, you have how many? Four. Four. Okay, this is my um, uh, 12 inch block, and we are going to square it up. Look at step number six, and the size of this is going to be four and a half inches. Four and a half inches. In my school box? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I'm supposed to look on the wall. <laughs> I can't remember what I'm supposed to look at. Okay, so this is very convenient, right? This is the four and a half inch triangle square up ruler. Yeah, I want you to hand me everything because I won't remember. You, she packed me my boxes like mom packed me my lunch. I'm not going to share my lunch with anybody. <laughs> okay, this is really nice one because this is a four and a half inch triangle square up ruler, and there are diagonal lines. That's how you know it's a square up ruler. So this is four and a half, very convenient. I'm going to put the four and a half inch red line on the stitches. How many of you guys remember that? Do you remember that? Yes. On the stitches, you only forget it once. <laughs> what happens whenever you, you make them too little, huh? Yes. Okay, so you just trim the two sides and then I just turn it around and cut off those corners. Nice, get rid of that. And let's check and make sure. We want to make sure how to press because sometimes we press differently, but this time we're going to press towards the first medium. Easy? And you got four of them, right? Let me see. Somewhere I know there must be four of them. Are they in my box? In the little bag. In the little bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me see. I did look at this honestly, Teresa. Look at this. Everything is right here that I want. This is how fast you guys should make a block, right? <laughs> yes, well, let's just start laying it out. How about we'll put that in the center, like that. The center is very easy to do, right? And you turn one, two. Yep, th take that away. Good girl. And then here, you can put it all in this little bag. Is ready for ready for the next class. Okay, that's good. Okay, moving on. Geese. Honk honk. Okay, so there are two colors of geese, and we need to have a large square and a smaller square. Let's just put them right here. And we have if you start out. This is the large square, and it's going to tell you right there what size the large square is. On page 97, number one, the large square is seven, seven. 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 and the smaller one is, five, five. and you place them, how do you put them? The right sides together, in the middle, in the middle. And quite honestly, when I started this, I would literally measure the middle. And so now I say, forget it. Just eyeball it. Because they're very generous. They're very generous sizes. OK, so once you put it in the middle, now what do you do? If you guys all know this, draw a diagonal, draw a diagonal line. Look at Abby looking at me, because this is new for you, huh? Is there a pen in my lunchbox? Thank you. And see, once you draw, once you center this, notice if you have a square up ruler, there's always a diagonal line. If you can line up the diagonal line on the left edge and make sure that your ruler touches the, the corner there and there. And I see this one is about a sixteenth of an inch off by doing that, so I'm just going to scooch it. Okay? And now I'm going to go like this, line it up, 
and this just draw a diagonal line and it, some of you like to just draw clear out to the corners and usually I just draw on the square good okay you're with me shall I do the sewing or can you just look at it is it okay Abby okay and so now I'm going to turn it the same way you put a quarter inch line of sewing on both sides of the diagonal line so that whenever you turn it over on the back side you can just do a check it's like a half inch apart right and so there it goes like this a quarter of an inch seam on both sides of the line and then just take your ruler and cut right down through the middle good and now you have two honk honk <laughs> that's good I didn't know if I could do this in front of a thousand two thousand people <laughs> 25,000 people but what the heck right okay so then you take these and it doesn't matter what the color is it's just the size it's the size okay and you're gonna press toward the large triangle the large triangle okay it doesn't matter what size it's the cult it's or what color it's the size okay so it looks really weird huh yeah. okay it looks very very weird and now the very first thing you have to put these back right sides together and I'm going to show you the first thing people do they put these together and they carefully lock the seams wrong you pick them up and you lay these two opposite colors and you match your outside edges right and this is how you know you look for the goose tails honk honk see on both ends right okay and so now you take and you draw another line yes yeah, she's given me one that's already done okay so line up well poor Teresa she's gonna end up sewing these all together anyways we keep on getting nice big quilts after our programs are over okay so draw another diagonal line and you do 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 so on both sides of the line Ta -da! <laughs> and that's what it looks like quarter inch on both sides quarter inch on both sides okay so then now we're going to just cut it again okay cut it again and oh my gosh Ta -da! We have four geese. Ooh, do you see the geese? Yeah, yeah. You see them? Yep, Abby's looking. Look, Abby. No, I see them. Oh. You see them. She sees them. She sees them. That's what they look like. Honk, honk. Yep, okay. So now this is tricky right here. What we're going to do is take our scissors. Oh, thank you. They're coming out of the school box like crazy. Cool, and you're keeping all organized, Teresa. Thank you. Okay. So we are going to press the seams away from what this is called the goose, okay? We're going to press it away. And so when you press, you would get a little twist in the back. So you take it and you fold it like this. I just matched the little tips right out here. Yep. And then just go and fold it in half and then just cut it with your scissors just down to the stitching just down to the stitching and so now whenever you press you press into the geese thank you and I'm going to fold this one again and press it okay good okay and now I know my rulers are in the box in my school box I'm gonna these are the 12 inch so what size am I gonna square these up to uh, two, and a half by four and a half. two and a half by four and a half okay remember 
that is, oh, I'm going to use the ruler in here the first. Ruler? Yeah, the regular ruler, and then I'm going to show you something, a miracle. Okay, so it's a geese. The geese actually says two by four on it. Okay, and we have quite a few different sizes, and you have to be very careful. This says two by four finished size. That means by the time the last seam allowances are in, this should be two by four. So I'm going to make it so that I can include the seam allowances in this piece. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cut the seam allowances. So you just slide, see the goose, and what's really cool about our rulers is there is a quarter inch seam allowed at the top. And when you do any other method, you'll be lucky if you have a quarter inch seam at the top, right? Yeah. Okay, and so now I always start and cut backwards so I separate. Backwards to separate, and then I can put my ruler right back here and just separate the two right away. Okay, and so I'm supposed to be using that little mat, but I'm just going to turn this around because I can do that side. And I'm going to do this side. I trim two sides, but if you have a little mat, you can trim. Okay, look, let's try this one. Look at this. This is the, um, this is a really cool mat. This is, this is a folding mat so that you literally can fold it and trust me, you you can put this in your smaller suitcase and I will show you how with that fold, you, you don't have that little jump. I thought that was my thing. Oh, I'll have a jump there, but, but you don't. Okay, so let me put it like this. One more turn. Okay, I want to trim on the bottom. I'm gonna lay that back on there. See how I have the quarter inch trimmed on the sides but the bottom has never been trimmed. This is where the fold is. I'm going to create a miracle and just slide right across there. And now do you see? Very nice. Is that cool? Yeah. I didn't think that was going to happen, but it does. <laughs> it's very, very cool. Okay, so that works really, really good, huh? What do you think? Those, for all of you, the people that are just so fearful of geese, we can make four at one time. I'm just going to cut one more. Ta-da! And just cross the top. And it would help if you put some kind of a little, um, like a, a little tab on the back side so it doesn't slide on you. Okay, I'm just going to turn this like this. I'm still on that little fold and go down and across. Ta -da! And I will show you how perky they are. <laughs> Very perky. Honk, honk. <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm going to get kicked off. <laughs> I was hearing, um, I was just listening to the radio, and they said, you know how um, actors, they get so stressed over they have to stand and do their performance? Well, I heard that people that do webinars are now experiencing those same anxiety feelings. <laughs> okay, so we did good. So you have to make these, and you also have to make your little yellow ones, and you just sew them together. Do I have my little yellow ones? Okay, the whole set, the yellow is exactly the same. The same process, center, draw the line, do, 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 cut them, sew the line, and then, like magic, I need the red and the yellow all sewn together. It's coming, it's coming. Ta-da! <laughs> and so you sew the two in pairs, and then you press toward the point. It lays best 
if you press toward the point. The opposite way, it just doesn't work good. <coughs> okay, and to finish this, this is the miracle. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Ta-da! <coughs> very, very good. And then when you sew the seams, this is what's fun. So um, you don't have anything to match except the outside edges. And when you are done, you press the, the first rows, outside rows, you press toward the corners. And then when you are done with sewing them together, you press away from the center. So it's toward the corners and then away from the center. And that's the block. Ooh! Did you like it? Okay, so this is what I'm going to show you now. This is what Teresa wasn't sure I was going to do. So we used the rulers just now. If you have not purchased any rulers, I would recommend this tool called Calling All Geese. Honk, honk. <laughs> All sizes on one piece of plastic. And this is, this is Orion's design. This is Orion's design. It's very, very cool. See, I, how many of you have never seen this? See, it's, it's fairly recent, but I haven't been doing geese. So I think you're really going to like this. You're going to go, oh my gosh, there's so many things. Okay, so now you know how to get the geese up to this point, right? Mm -hmm. You know how to do that. Yes, sir. On this one, same thing. Get it to this point. All it is is I'm just squaring up. Okay, and so now I'm going to put my uh, patch up here. And there's like three steps. I just say one, two, three. If you can remember, the first step is a large triangle. A large triangle. Let me lay it down. And now you can see. Can you see the large triangle? Mm -hmm. I always think it should say one, but you can take a marker and write one. <laughs> okay, and I'm just going to slide it along, slide up the triangle lines to line up with the geese. Do you see the quarter inch seam just like I told you? Well, <laughs> yeah, do you want me to use my marked one? Yeah, your marker Let me see, but two's kind of gone away. Okay. But but look how easy this is. <laughs> one. <There you> <laughs> okay. So what the first thing we want to do is get this quarter inch seam cut. So there's a actually there's a slot. Okay? Then if for, this is all sizes, there is that slot. You put your cutter in the slot, cut across. Yeah. Take away this one, just like I did before. And now your quarter inch is there. Okay? That's one. Now, what's the next number? Two. Two. There's another goose there. Guess what we're going to do? Two. <laughs> Easy. Okay. So now, I don't even care if you don't remember what it was, but if you look, you can see. Can you see the lines going up, and can you see them going across right here? Mm -hmm. S you're supposed to go out to those points, right? Out to the points, out to the points, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So, there's a slot there, a slot there. And there's a slot there. Okay. So I'm going to just line this all up. And I'm going to put my cutter in that slot. And cut away from me. One. And go over here. There's the little corner. Here's the little slot. And cut away from me. Oops. I'm riding on the top of it. I'm not very good at cutting anymore. In fact, I have to give everything to Teresa almost. But look. Whoop. There's one. And there's the other one. 
Now we have three sides done, right? One, two, three. We have three sides done. What's our next number? Three. Ah! So we're going one, two, three, and now it's very easy. This is three. The outside edge is three. Three. You like this, Eric? Are you keeping up with me? Okay, I'm going to kind of move away a little bit. Okay, see how we have these points right there? See, this on this particular one, I have a line straight across the top, but all we want to do is trim right up to those points, okay? And so I'm just going to, I hope my shoulder isn't in the way, but it's kind of a better angle. Ta-da! Oh, nice. Nice! Yeah! Is that fun? One, two, three. All sizes of geese. Calling all geese. Where's my hunker? <laughs> Guess where you can get it. <laughs> oh, we did good, huh? So that's cups and saucers. Cups and saucers, really good. Did you learn anything new? If you haven't seen it before, if you've done it before, learn something new. Uh, you learned? You learned? You learned a lot. Yay! Abby was new. Lady in the back was new. They learned a lot. Cool. Okay, so I'm just going to pick this one up, and now we're going to turn the pages. Keep on looking. Keep on looking. So we have the kids there, grandchildren quilt too. And now we have to take better pictures, more pictures of all the other kids. Okay, now we're going to go to flying geese. Flying geese, it's a whole other pattern. We're going to more geese. We're doing good. So we're going to do this one even faster. Oh, look, Teresa's got it all laid out. <laughs> she says, okay, I'm not going to make Ella for it. And the finish block is coming. Oh, here they are. Cute. Very, very cute. Very, very cute. Um, so what is different about this one? If you look, we have three geese. We have green. We have red. And we have blue. But blue has a background and a yellow triangle. The sky, blue and yellow. Yellow in the center, and so you just turn that blue with yellow around the center, and the center becomes a star. Isn't that nice? Very, very nice. And because we couldn't get quite the right size is 12, 12 and a half, 6, 6 and a half. We've used a different ruler. It's a 2.5 ruler. It could be one that you don't have. It's the last one that came out. And that is not on calling all geese. That's the only one, right? right. We have this whole different little one. OK, so I want to tell you about the geese at Quilting a Day. The geese, you have to be a team, right? Yes. Did you know there's a whole little saying written about the geese, about how they get along? They're so much fun. So it's right there. The geese at Quilton a day, they're just like gangling geese, a group of gangling geese. So did you know that when the geese are flying in farm formation, each bird flaps its wings and it creates an uplift to the bird in front. Hmm. I'll never forget standing with my dad in my yard watching. They have that V formation and they're all flapping from behind and the front one is leading. Okay, so did you know that when the lead goose becomes tired, he can just kind of drop behind, and another goose takes the lead, moves forward, and takes over. So then the, 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 uh, the geese that was in the lead,
he gets to rest, right? We need that. And this is what I love the most. Did you know that when a goose becomes sick or ill, he takes to the ground and another will go down and be by its side until it either heals or passes on. So we all, we all have to be like geese, right? Yes. We all have to be like geese and do a lot of honking from behind. So I guess this is, we have to decide. Could this be the lead goose? I'm not sure. <laughs> at least, at least we're the Burnses, huh? Is that really fun? So Orion and I, this was at uh, Paducah earlier this year, and he dressed up in, a, in this outfit, and he took me on a carriage ride over Aww. to our dinner. Very you can nice. see that on our web. So Orion and I, probably the the lead geese, when one of us gets tired, we can just drop behind, right? <laughs> and all of these people are part of the gangling geese. They're honking. My sister be is always honking behind me. <laughs> she uh, helps me with um, color. I love it when she does my color. She'll help do samples and such. So she's always there honking. And so you guys know Sue. Did you know Sue is on a cruise right now? At 4 o'clock in the morning the other day, my cell phone tingled. And I said, oh, no, who's calling me at 4 in the morning? She said, I'm in Holland. <laughs> Thanks, Sue. You're in Holland. <laughs> you get in Germany. Huh, did you get one, too? Oh, yeah, yeah. Forgot. you forget where you're at. So anyhow, Sue has been honking from behind for, well, her boy must be 25. Uh, no, 31. Uh, he's 31. Oh. That means I know he was five when she came to work for me. Wow. 31. Wow. So how old is she now? How long has she been working for me? Is it hard to believe, huh? Honk, honk. And there's Teresa. You guys all know I love this picture, Teresa. We look like we dressed that day. We always dress together. We don't, we don't call. We just dress alike. <laughs> and how long have you been honking? Um, it's the same time. About the same. About 20, like 92. 92. 92. 92. 92. Long time we've been together, gangling geese. This one, I think, Merritt. This is Merritt has been here the longest. He makes a lot of noise from behind, huh? <laughs> He's always honking. Yesterday, somebody said, his new assistant said, um, uh, Merritt, do you think that was something that you did? And he said, I think I've done just about everything <laughs> in this office. <laughs> when people call and want help and they get Merritt, they shoot, oh, I don't, I don't want a man. Um, I went, uh, one of the ladies, Merritt's in Salty, said, I draw all those pictures. <laughs> <laughs> and this is David. David has been the latest to this gangling geese group, but we all have to work together as a team like geese. And when somebody gets tired, somebody else gets to jump in the lead. <gasps> So um, David actually did a really nice uh, mantle display over there, just in case you want to look at close at us and see. There was one thing I did want to add, but I forgot, just I forgot. Oh, I did, about adding a little border. Yes, right, I did add that. Thank you. <laughs> so let's put that out of the way. Okay, so turn the page. Yeah, you have to do it a little bit different, but it's not hard at all. So you really have to start out just like we have did in the beginning, just with the green and the red, the two sizes of squares. And let's see, they are actually, once again for the 12, it's seven, seven and five and a half. And how, what do I do with these two pieces? Right sides together. Now what do I do? Center them and draw a diagonal line. Honk, honk. Okay, this is going so fast. Right sides together, diagonal line. 
So a quarter inch seam, do 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 both sides, and then you cut, cut them in half, ta da, like so, on both of them. This is a good review, huh? You'll never forget it. Okay, and then you uh, put them back right sides together, and you don't match the seams, but what do you look for on the corners? The goose tails. The goose tails are right there. Look for the goose tails, and you'll see them. Both goose tails, and then what do you do? Cut them in half. Ta-da! And that's your four geese. Is that good, Ginger? Whoa. Okay. So that's the red and the green. And you just sew them together in pairs, just like we did in cups and saucers. But now we have the blue and the yellow to make the star in the middle. So you still have to start out just like this. Whoops. Okay. Let's do this. So first you have the blue and the background, right sides together, the yellow and the blue, right sides together. Two sets, two sets, okay? Yes. Two sets. And then it's just the same thing from there. So I'm making twice as many now, huh? Mm -hmm. Yep. So then we do center, draw the diagonal lines, right sides together. And now once these are cut apart and put back right sides together, you have to put one blue half, blue and background, and the other half has to be yellow and blue. So now you can already see what you're going to do. And if you, we just mm -hmm. fold these in half, We'll see the star coming up. Ah, ooh, is that good? All right. So it's not that hard. You don't change any techniques. And now I have those pieces. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now we need. Now we need the center. Okay. So we need all the pieces. Okay. Okay. So let's start here, and give me the bigger square for the center. The bigger yellow. Oh, it is. I forgot. You have to turn these here. Give me these guys. Okay, so you actually end up making twice as many of these. You always have a whole stack left over, but you have to choose the one that's going to make the star. Let's see if we put these around. Right, they do. You can use them and you can make two blocks because then the star is kind of going one way and then it's going the other way. Okay? And so then you need to have the red. Yep. That's good, right? Red and green. Red and green. <coughs> Ooh. So it looks very interesting. I did that just to make sure you were watching. <laughs> it's easier to see in there than right here, huh? Okay, like that. So not only is the yellow swirling around, but all of the other points are swirling around as well. And it's so fun. It's the same. When you sew it together, you press the seams toward the corners, and then the last seam goes away from the center. Oh, my gosh. Was that good? <laughs> you have to remember what end to blow on. <laughs> <clears throat> There are a lot of different ways to make geese, but I really do like using our rulers and to use the calling all geese whenever you're doing like the migrating geese like Sue's doing. She's doing all those 
different ones. So you just have a honking good time out there and get your geese done. Whoa!